Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? To lay down and get super relaxed and comfortable. Try and be still and quiet so your body can just chill out and let go of your day. This story is all about a very special little boy who had a magical mummy. Juan was tiny, very, very, very tiny, tiny enough to sit on a fluffy dandelion. Juan wasn't normally tiny, it's just that his mum had made magic. She twitched her nose and twiddled her fingers, and all of a sudden, one magically changed to the tiniest, tiniest little boy you've ever seen. He was sat on his fluffy dandelion, just watching the day go by. The sky was nice and blue, and the sun was shining in the sky. Everything was wonderful there on his dandelion. It was comfortable and fluffy and warm. And occasionally, it would tickle and blow in the wind. It was very, very relaxing. Until the ground started to bounce and shake. And the dandelion that Juan was on started to jump and vibrate and move. The jumps and the vibrations felt just like someone was stomping their way towards his dandelion. Stomp, stomp, stomp. The jumping and the vibration got louder and louder and louder until a big giant foot looked like it was coming all the way down on top of him to squish him right where he was. One managed to jump off the dandelion and get out of the way just in time. It took him a while to climb back up another dandelion and lay on it and relax once again. But he did. He got all comfy and snuggly the world was good once again. Until this time, he heard children laughing. The laughing was loud, because the children were big. They were big at the side of Juan, who was the tiniest, teeniest little boy you've ever seen. The laughing got louder and louder and closer and closer, until... One of the children reached down and picked up the dandelion that he was laying on. They never even noticed him there, he was so small. The child took a big breath in and blew out the biggest breath so she could make a wish. Unfortunately for Juan, this meant the dandelion flew all over the place. And he started to fly up towards the sky, up towards the clouds. Juan found himself floating around the beautiful sky and the clouds for what seemed like the longest time, just blowing in the wind. Once in this direction and then once in the other direction blowing back and forth and back and forth until eventually he decided enough was enough. 
He pulled the string on his magical parachute and started to come down from the sky, floating lower and lower and lower until he eventually landed on the beach. Because he was the tiniest, teeniest little boy in the world, it took quite some time to get anywhere on the beach. But eventually, he found a rock pool. And the rock pool was full of crabs. He sat on the side of the pool and chatted to the crabs. They were very friendly. After all, he was probably too small to eat. There were two crabs in particular just floating around the rock pool. Didn't really say much at all except they had nice big crab smiles and that's why he thought they were friendly. But then, when Juan looked closer, he noticed the crabs weren't even real. They were just plastic toy crabs floating around in the pool. That's why they were so friendly, he thought, as he giggled to himself. That's why they didn't try and eat him. They weren't even real crabs. Silly Juan. Finally, after a very long day of barely getting anywhere because he was the teeniest, tiniest little boy in the world, Juan's mom found him on the beach. It was starting to get late. They needed to hurry back home. Juan's magical mum twitched her nose and whittled her fingers and Juan found himself full size once again, laying in his bed at home all snug and warm and cuddly. He gave his mum the bestest squeeze and cuddle he'd ever given her and his mummy gave him a kiss. They said goodnight his mommy left and Juan closed his eyes to go to sleep. That was a crazy dream. Or was it a dream or was it real? Did Juan's mum really have magical powers? Did she just have to twitch her nose and whittle her fingers? These were all the questions he was asking himself while he was laid in bed, trying to relax and go to sleep. He thought about how cool it would be if all he had to do to do magic was to whittle his nose and twitch his fingers, or twitch his nose and whittle his fingers. He wondered if there had to be a particular order or if he could just do magic any way he wanted. It would be awesome to be a magic person, he thought. What would he do if he could be magical? What would he do if he could make magic? How would he change the world? Maybe he'd twitch his nose and whittle his fingers and make sure that all the children all over the world were happy, happy, happy. Maybe he'd twitch his nose and whittle his fingers, or whittle his fingers and twitch his nose, and find that all the animals all over the world were happy, happy, happy. Maybe he would do magic and make sure that he had all the bestest friends at school. Maybe he would do magic so that every night he could eat his favourite dinner. That would be awesome. He would just twitch his nose and whittle his fingers whenever he wanted. If he saw someone sad on the street, he would do some magic. If he saw someone that looked too lonely, he would do some magic. If a friend needed his help, he could do magic. It would be a magical world if one was magical. But then, 
One thought about all the magic that he could create, even if he didn't have special magic. He could be magical anyway. He could be magical by smiling at everyone. That would make them happy, 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 right? He could be magical to animals just by being himself and being kind and friendly. He could help his friends just by being himself, if they were lonely or sad. He could just talk his mom into making his favourite dinner every night. Who needs magic? I don't have to twitch my nose or whittle my fingers or whittle my fingers or twitch my nose. I'm magical anyway, thought Juan. The magical Juan. How cool would that be? Or should I say, how cool am I? The end.